Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 31st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the left outer join operation. And uh, for the sake of this tutorial I have added some rows in the tutorial table and uh, you know let me first show you the data that I have added. So to demonstrate that I'll type in the select keyword and then star from and then uh, the name of the table which is uh, tutorial. and. Uh, you know, basically I've created, uh, you know, some rows for Microsoft uh, Excel uh, subject and, uh, you know, you can see that the uh, tutorial number 18 is Excel tutorial 1 and it belongs to Microsoft Excel and uh, tutorial number 19 also belongs to that subject. So, uh, you know, uh, rows from, uh, you know, 18 to 22 belong to that uh, subject basically and uh, you know I haven't added rows in the tutorial underscore info table that is you know I haven't added corresponding rows to tutorial underscore info table you know for Microsoft uh, Excel and I'll show you tutorial underscore info as well tutorial underscore info when I put a semicolon in executed you see that you know data is missing for uh, tutorials uh, no numbered 18 to 22 so there's no data in this table now if I would uh, execute a simple join query on the two tables then uh, no data would be returned for the subject Microsoft Excel and the reason for that is that you know there are values present for Microsoft Excel in the tutorial table but corresponding values are missing in the tutorial underscore info table you know that table has null values for you know those rows uh, for which the ID values lie between 18 and 22 in the tutorial table, right? So if you want to still see the values from the tutorial table in your result set, then all you have to do is, you know, put in the keyword left before join in your uh, query, right? So what this is going to do is it's going to instruct SQL that, you know, even if no corresponding values are found in the table that's on the right hand side of the join operation, you know, you still pull out values from the table that's uh, on the left hand side of the join operation and in this case that tutorial that table is the tutorial table right so it appears before the join keyword so that's why it's on the left side and uh, when you execute this query you see now that we do get the subject Microsoft Excel in the results side although we don't see any values for total views or total likes you know in 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 those two columns because well data is not present in the tutorial underscore info table and if you would someday put in some data in those uh, columns you know for rows uh, numbered 18 to 22 then you would see some numbers here too but in that case well you won't have to use the left join operation you can use the you know normal inner join uh, but anyway this is all that I had to say about the left join operation in the next tutorial we'll talk about the right join operation which is pretty similar to this and uh, you know it's uh, it's only you know different in the way that uh, you know th th in that case if corresponding values are not present in the table that's on the left hand side of the uh, join operation you know but if, if values are present in the right hand in, in the table that's on the right hand side of the join operation then you know you can use the right join operation to you know get those values in the results side but uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you in the next tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you soon.